This game is huge for both coaches and both programs. Dick and I expect one player to step up and provide us with one shining moment in today's third round game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Oklahoma Sooners. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Sooners should be in for an uphill battle tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? Well, the keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next, don't allow any good looks from behind the arc. Challenge every shot. And lastly, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Number 20 handles the pass. He'll regroup the offense. The shooting guard handles the feed. Way off target. Shows patience waiting for the reset. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I think right now I've got to focus defensively. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Inside. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, you spin back the other way. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block for two. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He puts it in with contact and all. Spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Take another look at that play. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Inside. Number 23 is feeling great out there right now. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Inside. There's the fake. Number 15 takes it away. Trying to pack it inside. Tries to get the D to bite. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He keeps the dribble as they reset. With a bucket and off the mark. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Fed the low block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Four, 
Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Looking for the foul. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. On the outside, number five receives the pass. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nestler. We got a good one going. Goes up for two. And he missed. Now they work it around the perimeter. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number 23 is receiving lots of love from the crowd. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The small forward receives the ball. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Way off target. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Oklahoma have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Thinks about the shot. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Looking for a good shot. He uses the shot fake. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two, they still don't score. Gave it up. Launches the three. He gets it to go. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. Oklahoma are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
it's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Nice high post screen. Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. Incredibly, the zone seems to be tightening. It's getting tighter because the offense can't hit from the outside. They're begging them to shoot from out there. Number 23 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Just play, son. Just play. Play your game, do the talking. The Aggies are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He makes the first shot. He got it. The Sooners' composure just took a big hit. They've been shooting themselves in the foot. They better get their emotions in check. On the outside, he unloads a three. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And the ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the opportunity. alley -oop. number 30, makes a great move to draw the foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. First one, good. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Number 30 is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Goes up for two. The lay in. A great defense right there. Not allowing them to make the turn. The skip pass is picked off. He shoots from the top of the circle. Makes the shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. They work it back to the outside. Up fake. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drains it. Tries for two. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Neslo. Hey, hey. 
Here's a double team. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. Fakes a jumper. They move it into the front court. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you've got to be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. Job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Looks at the three. He drains it. Hit the replay button on that one. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He puts it up. The Sooners have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Looking for contact. You betcha. Looking for a good shot. Gets up to make the block. They work it around the perimeter. He lets it go. Way off target. Pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Jumps in. Texas AM are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Entry pass in the paint. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Turn around jumper. In and out. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all.
Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He lets it go. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Tries for two, and in and out. With a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Can't get the shot to go. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Yeah, and I say it all the time. It makes life much easier when you have a guy in your roster who can make these types of plays. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Shot rejected on the dribble, gives it up. He puts up the tray. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. the deep shot from outside. Dick, can they eventually get it going from behind the arc, you think? If they stop forcing him, sure. Moving it around the perimeter on the inside. And he scores despite the hack. This one deserves another look, Brad. Number 34 with the fake. Stolen ball. On the outside. High post flashes. Entry pass in the paint. Time to pick up the defense here now. He bombs from outside. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. Working around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Aggies are down by eight. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the hat. Oklahoma did a masterful job of grabbing the boards in the first half, Mr. Vitale. Wow, I'll tell you, Brad, these guys are so well coached. The coaching staff preaches the importance of winning the rebound battle. And then they went out there and they just did that. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron.
Now the turnaround jumper. The friendly bouncers aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. Boy, terrible execution on offense. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Jumped in front to take it away. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Got a man in high post. The power. He makes the block. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice hops. Dipsy dude, Don Carrillo, are you kidding me? Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Up and inside. He intercepts it. Gave it up. He looks for the bomb. It's no good. For two. And he missed. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. Good job defensively. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. In the paint. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Number 30 steps to the line for the first time. First shot, good. Second shot is no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind, or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. Rims out. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backboards, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Entry pass in the paint. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Number 30 picks up the foul. Second team foul. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. 
Number two sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. First one is good. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He sinks it. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He shoots from long range. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the three ball. He hits the shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And he'll kick it back outside from the top of the circle. And he makes the three. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. There's the trap. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. For the deuce, that comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. Controlling the ball. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. He strips him clean. Looking for a good shot. Number 23 draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number 12 gets his first sweat of the night. Hey, it's important that this kid gets into the offensive action right away, Brad. He's going to make an instant impact. Misses the second shot. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Picks off the pass. The point guard gets the pass. Here's a flash from the high post. He tries the three ball. Way off target.
isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He gets the rejection. Fast break opportunity here for the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. They work the perimeter. The point guard gets the ball. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The three drains the shot. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Intercepted. They don't get back in a hurry. Dumping inside. Takes away the pass. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. I can watch that one again all night long. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. They still don't score. There they come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And there what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon, nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's crawling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Moving it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two, and he scores it off the glass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, off the rim and no good. The center takes the pass. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. First one is good. Second shot, good. Off the lazy pass. 
on the outside. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. In the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Opportunity coming up. Goes in. He takes the three. Off the rim and no good. They'll bring it up. He shoots from the baseline. He gets it to fall. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Nice shot, Bay. Set that screen away. For the deuce. Rims out. The point guard takes the feed. They work it around the perimeter. He tries the three. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right time. With the freebie. Makes the foul shot. in the paint. Steal. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Kicks it out. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Yeah. He's got a three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Working around the arc. High post screen, gonna use it. Tries for two. Steals the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that.
Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. Great defense. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He is going to the line. He makes the first shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He makes them both. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. the dribble gives it up and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot he misses badly on that three-point attempt ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot rims out Momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the top of the key. And he misses the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, the shot seems to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Goes up for two. No good from the field. Pushes it up. Look at that spacing. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. On the outside, they work the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He squares up down on the low block. I think you teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. For the deuce. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. 30 comes back out onto the floor. Major swing and energy with him back on the floor, Brad. To the charity strike. Makes the front end of the one and one. Gets the second shot. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. Timeout's been called. So let's check in with Aaron. 
Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. Gave it up. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, what this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Oklahoma makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.